Call this select board, Board of Health meeting to order. I, Carolyn, am here. Mm -hmm. Dave is here. Uh, Trevor hasn't signed on yet. Uh, oh, who else is on? Where is um, uh, Skip Sobieski? Skip. Skip Olmstead is there. Olmstead. Skip Olmstead might be at the town hall. If so, yeah, I, we, okay. we have a quorum. And then okay. what about Ken Cutterback? He hasn't, he wasn't at our last meeting. What? No. Uh, Trevor and Skip Olmstead are at the town hall right now. Yeah. They were at the previous meeting. I saw the, I so, see the town wait, hall is. Was... For just a second so I can throw everybody out so I can hear. Oh. Well, can kick you... him out. Yeah, Skip, we're waiting for you to get on so we can have a quorum. We are, we'll wait, Jonathan's waiting to start the broadcast, so one second. All right, uh, Trevor, we call the Selectman's meeting to order already. Okay, sounds good. Select board, Carolyn, board, board. Oh board. yeah, select board. You know what, it's really hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Considering your gender, you would not think so. I know, <laughs> but I've been saying Selectman for almost twenty years, so it's. And I always wondered way. why a woman would be called a Selectman. It just, no, I, I never, it never bothered me. That kind of <laughs> stuff doesn't bother me. Yeah, details, details. Oh. I know, but I try to say select board. I, I think it does sound better. It does. It does. <laughs> I had to have new signs made because my selectmen before. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Mine are too. <laughs> oh God. I, see, it's another excuse to retire. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, but now I have to buy new signs. Oh my uh, God. You know what you could do? You can take a sticker and put it over men and put board. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks really classy, Carolyn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're upcycling. It's you're supporting Deerfield 2030. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Okay, seven minutes of my life. I'm never gonna get back here, Skip. <laughs> Denise, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> And we already pushed the meeting to seven instead of six thirty. I know. I was going to say, oh my god. Jonathan can. Oh, he probably did. Okay. My first meeting today was at eight o'clock. Oh, good gonna, grief! Oh my not. I know. I'm almost got a twelve-hour day here. Oh. Wow. You get paid overtime, Carolyn. I know. <laughs> almost. <laughs> All right. How many meetings can we cram in four days, people? Yeah. My first meeting is at 1030 tomorrow morning, so I'm, I feel... Yes, it is. I'll be with you on that meeting. Yes. I don't I don't think that's true, Dave. It is. Is the it? First, I got one His earlier. first meeting. <laughs> we have more after that. Oh, yeah, the MVP. Well, the MVP is at 1030. I've got, I've got union negotiations at 1030. Oh, okay. The MVP is at 1030 too. Um, we did have a good meeting with um, Andrew Smith at, uh, you know, from the state today on our letter of interest. It's unlikely we're going to get the sewer treatment plant funded unless it's a nature-based kind of solution. So we've got to look at what we're trying to do to even though the, the governor says he's going to put 150 more million into the MVP. So we've, we've got to look at that again. Andrew's basing it on uh, that they're still only going to get like 20 to 30 million, which is more than it's double, at least from last year. So the Leary lot parking lot looks really good, but, um, and they're happy to do that. I think it's going to score high, but our sewer treatment plant stuff is not going to score very high. So we have to, if we're gonna, we gotta resubmit it. Or when we go to submit it, we have to decide whether we wanna submit it. This was just a letter of interest. All right, uh, I'm gonna, I guess, call the Capital Improvement Planning Committee meeting to order now that it uh, looks like Skip and Trevor are, are back. Um, so um, yeah, I'm gonna call the meeting to order. Um, meetings uh, normally held at municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and when required. 
public participation provided in accordance with the Governor Baker's June 16th, 2021 Act extending certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the state of emergency, including extension of the remote participation provisions of his March 20, 2020 executive order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, uh, MGL um, chapter 30, section 20, remote meeting connection um, is posted. Um, the dial-in number is uh, 1-2-6-6-7-9-9. The meeting ID is 620-007-8930. The passcode is 627-371. Uh, and uh, meeting attendees, uh, please uh, hit star six if you're gonna be dialing in. All right, so um, call the, the meeting to order here. Um, is there, let's see, looks like the first thing on the agenda here is um, a public works equipment update. Do we have someone from uh, Public Works? We don't. We have me. All right. Well, yeah. If you want to, if you want to fill in, great. Otherwise, we can we can skip to the next item. I we, I, what I out. wanted to say is, I have not been able to schedule anybody to actually present. This is it. May be something that I have to coordinate with them and then present to you at a at a future meeting. But I did. If you check your email, I did find the updated documents. Yeah. Um, and so on the spreadsheet, we'll probably talk about that in a little while. You'll see those updates. Yeah, I saw the email. Thank you very much for sending that over. Um, that's uh, very helpful, at least to, to start. So great. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, and then we also have um, on the agenda the sidewalks update. I guess, you know, do we have any updates on that? You want to talk or you want me, Denise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah, well, I mean, the only thing about the sidewalks that I know is that we um, we're putting in for the shared streets and spaces, and we have we've had a meeting with the FERCOG and their people. I don't recall who their people are. Kittleson Engineering. Thank you. And then we're meeting with them again on Thursday. There's Thursday. a really quick turnaround time, but I think we're going to be all set with that. And we can get up to $200,000. We're going to go for the sidewalk that goes from Frontier to the park. We're also going to go for crosswalks and then also do some flashing beacons that will be solar powered. And Casey, if I'm correct, they're approximately $20,000 a piece. Did you Depending say? on which ones you get, yes. Okay. Big, cool. The big units are. Yeah, yeah. And we want to place one, you know, just as you're, as you're coming um, from the center of town going north. We want to place one before the curve because that is a huge issue. And I know I hear that from, from Sharon Kuchorik, um, you know, who's a cross, you know, cross crossing guard. So I think we want to place one there. We want to place one across from the park. And so that's where we are with the sidewalks at this point. We do not have an updated estimate for private contractor work on that because it may be that we want to consider doing a combination of private and public just for expediency's sake, but that's a conversation we'll have to have. I haven't had a chance to circle back around with Chris Miller about it because we've been chasing wastewater stuff. Yeah, but you know, it's, I mean, Casey had put out an email asking for the chief, um, anybody else, I think Darius, if they had any, any concerns, any questions that they'd be happy to, uh, you know, walk, you know, walk the area, but no one seemed to have a problem with it. Everyone's really happy that we're putting in for that. So, yep. That's that, that part of the sidewalks. I don't know the other sidewalks. The other piece of it is what I just mentioned. It's, it's yeah. evaluating what it is we can use in terms of resources based on costs. We don't have an estimate you know, you need a materials estimate as well. And we don't have that estimate right now. When Waitley did their sidewalks in the center of town a year, year and a half ago, they did a combination of public and private work. So they had their employees prep the space and they had a private contractor actually do the asphalt installation, which is probably a, a good method for us to consider. Um, it's a question of how do you fit that asphalt cost in? What's that going to look like? Because costs for asphalt have gone up. And we aren't quite in the bidding phase for the construction season yet, Carolyn um, and David. So we don't know what that's going to look like. That's why you have a 
you have a number of 250,000 in that individual sidewalk reference on the spreadsheet because we don't have any idea what this is going to look like. Okay. But isn't the asphalt a uh, county bid? Yes, that's what I mean. We have to incorporate what we might think we would use if we want to utilize that, if we want to have that be part of the contract price, because you have to give them a total estimate of um, the amount of asphalt you're going to need. Yeah. You know, I'm a strong proponent of doing the combination, so. Yeah, I think the combination of the prep work and then lay, having the contractor lay the asphalt makes a lot of sense. It, Taylor Davis actually did the work in the center of Waitley because I drove past that project every day for months, almost a year actually. And they that was the contractor that Keith hired in Waitley, but they had their their crew prepping the spaces, so prepping the areas they were laying asphalt. Yeah. They also did some work on the corner that was actually concrete work because they did ADA compliant sidewalks or sidewalk access points. That seems like a, you know a really good approach, you know, to mm. keep the costs in line and and do as much sidewalk as possible with what money we have. It's a consideration. I if we want to consider going forward in in an economical manner, that's probably a good way to do it. I was going to say we may have more information on Thursday because we had asked about, I guess, um, Montague had gotten the sidewalk grant for the shared st streets and spaces for 125000 but we don't know how, you know, the length of the sidewalk and what the materials were that they used. So I don't know if that, if they'll have that information for us, we can have a better estimate. We're yes. going to circle back around on that particular piece of our sidewalk questions on Thursday, so we could have more information at the next meeting if anybody wants it. You know, part of the rationale on the sidewalk rehab is start on the north end and the south end and work towards the center because we're not sure exactly what we're going to do with the streetscapes in that area. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to be putting something down that we're going to tear up right away. Right. We did get, just as a, an aside here, we did find out that the COG does have the capacity to help us with complete streets, which could solve some of those access issues in the center of town um, and sort of branching out into the various areas. That could be really useful because it, it could get us ahead in our tiered approach to complete streets. Also, uh, it's just too far. We, we don't have capacity to really think about that right now. No, but when we're doing the Leary lot, it would make sense yes. to do some of the sidewalks that, uh, you know, attach to the Leary lot. Yeah. So that's just an aside. I'll shut up so Mark can move on with the meeting. <laughs> yes. Sorry. But I think that we should wrap that in. I mean, that, I think that's the intention of the select board. That's what the, Denise and I talked about. Yeah. Mark's not going to invite us anymore. I know. No, I, no I, he won't. <laughs> I appreciate the context. I, I will. <laughs> um, all right. Um, and then uh, I guess, um, yeah, before we jump into the capital projects plan, um, are there any updates on the wastewater treatment plant that we want to go over? Well, it was a, a very disappointment, disappointing letter of, um, you know, we had sent a letter of in interest on the um, for the MVP today. And it was not a net nature based solution. So the MVP program probably is not going to pay for hard infrastructure. So unfortunately, I'm not sure if our sewer, unless we can rewrite it, our sewer uh, the fluent pipe is not going to be funded. Oh. Even though there's 150 million extra dollars potentially in the MVP program. So we'll have to see. I, I don't, I haven't thought of another way we could do it, but I'll have to, I have to look at it and see if there's something we can jazz it up with. I mean, the, the whole project was supposed to be based on resiliency, right? And infrastructure and it's on a river and it's part of our infrastructure. I, I, I mean, what, what is this program if it's not for working on infrastructure that's near a river and it's resilient? I know, I talked to him. They gave us a, a Newburyport um, example and stuff, but I'm, uh, we're going to meet tomorrow. We have a meeting tomorrow at 1030. So we're going to look at our 
if there's anything we can change, Trevor, mm -hmm. in, in, in our and how we apply. Okay. The Leary lot looked really good, though. They, they said that they likely would score very high and would likely get funded. So that was good. Good. All right, well, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'd like to turn our attention to the uh, spreadsheet that uh, Casey sent out. Um, there was uh, one that was sent out for the last meeting and then uh, I believe it was, it looks like it was updated to, um, I think include some updated FY 2023 numbers. Yes. Uh, Do you want me to share it, Mark? Uh, yeah, actually. Because I found a correction I needed to make. So let me screen share it. Okay. Sounds good. Can everybody see this? Yes. Can you make it Is it big enough? Can you make it bigger? I can you make it bigger? Just a dash, sweetie. Thank you. Okay. Let me scroll up to the top. All right, let me go over what I did. So the only thing I haven't done here is roll the this first section. If you can see my cursor, roll the 350th celebration stuff out because that hasn't been funded in two years. So we could probably remove that from the report just to make it a little cleaner. Um, capital stabilization is in a holding pattern. I had added 250 here because we weren't sure whether we would even be able to fund anything this year after talking to Brenda and looking at some of the preliminary budgets. So I had left that alone. But you will see as we scroll down the, I don't have the update on the wastewater treatment facility upgrades. Trevor, we need to sit and talk about that. Yep. Um, but here you're gonna see in the public work section, and this includes both projects and equipment, um because they all fall under public works in some way or another so you're going to see these green items are the updated capital project request items that didn't make it to my email but were completed by the superintendent he's been ill on and off for the past couple months and so i asked if the assistant could go back and find it and so what i sent to you guys yeah i sent in the email I sent you earlier, I sent you a copy of the spreadsheet, but I also spread, sent you the project. So we can, if you want, I can look at those in a little bit. But basically what we're looking at here is the loader replacement and the updated cost is 220,000. The X mark mower, so this actually falls outside this 8,300. I went back and referred to the application memo and it's under 10,000. So I don't honestly think that this is qualifies for a capital request. I don't think so, nope. So I didn't remove it because I wanted to get, I wanted to explain that, but I can, we should probably, I should probably talk to Brenda and see about incorporating that into a budget if possible. So hold that as a placeholder in the back of your brains because that's my intent. Um, then we have the, wood chipper, the shed replacement at the transfer station, and the HVAC software. So I didn't have a chance to go over this, but I read the applications. The wood chipper is a significantly old piece of equipment. Um, the shed, I don't know how old that shed is, but I think it's older than both your and my tenure, yeah. Carolyn. <laughs> Time. I think it's back in the 80s, truthfully. It's really old. And it's been, this has been discussed for years. It's just never made it to your radar screen until now. And Trevor, or Trevor, Kevin had warned me last year around the same time that it might be coming, but I hadn't seen it until I looked at the application. So these are the, these are the changes that you're going to see based on these updated, this updated information. And then the other thing I just want to draw to your attention after the converse. Now, this isn't in the report that I sent you. I realized it later before the finance committee meeting. Candace was at the finance committee meeting and it triggered my brain um, in the report that I emailed you. This this particular thing for Tilton says 11 million. Remember, Candace asked us to back that number down last week mm -hmm. because she's hopeful that the number will come in at budget based on some preliminary information she has from L MLBC. So I backed it down to 8 million. You guys tell me what you want me to. What is, what is the 8 million? So the 8 million is a library edition prop 
project. So the that was the initial cost estimate. We think it's going to come in higher based on our experience with wastewater. So she's saying that she's going to be able to build the, the library edition for $8 million. Well, remember she said last week that a couple of the projects that she, MLBC has shared information with her about came in on budget. So, Skip, I'm... I'm taking into account the things that she mentioned last week. That number is a mutable number. I can put it back at 11. I just wanted to tell you why I had thought about changing it. I, I don't, it's, I still would like to get that square foot and the square foot cost. That's, you know, I realize that it's not a perfect solution, but I think it's better than, than the, this pulling it out of the air. Mm -hmm. um, so skip explain that to everybody because this was a conversation at the finance committee meeting a little while ago they don't have the benefit most of the people on the meeting besides the select board don't have the benefit of that frame of reference okay so very quickly when we built the elementary school 30 years ago this came from the state and the architect uh we designed this or the architect designed the school it ended up being 64,000 square feet and the state said you need to use $125 a square foot for a cost. And again, that's an estimate. Mm -hmm. So $125 a square foot, uh, 64,000 square feet, $8 million. So that was the budget. Fortunately, we got lucky. The, the bill came in, the project came in at $7.2 million. But it could have come in at $8.8 .8 million. Mm -hmm. We went to town meeting. It was the eight million dollars that we voted. I think you can go back and look it up. Uh, well, June of eighty nine. The problem is, Skip, if it's it's really tough to come up with a per square foot cost. I mean, I think when we used when we were talking about the town hall, we used four hundred dollars a square foot because that's what it seems to be at the moment. I I would not. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. It's not worth that, but that's what we're going to pay. I didn't mean the town halls, but you know that's that's the going rate or whatever the going rate is. I think that's what I found online. So, that. yeah, uh, I well, that's uh, I mean we we I called around and to to try to figure out what we we're going to use for numbers, and that yeah. seems like four hundred was reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, for the purpose of this grant, I don't think we can change our square footage, right? So can't we come up with some sort of estimate with maybe, well, I mean, we don't really need to vote on this right now or, or even that, that number, I guess we don't really need to set in stone right now, but I guess like I don't have the um, square footage in front of me at the moment, but if we know what the square footage is and if you know we're, we're building at $400 a square foot right now, we should be able to find out whether or not that $8 million number is reasonable, I think. Yeah. I, I agree, Mark. I agree. And so the part of the conversation at the finance committee meeting earlier, Mark, was do we go out and get an, another estimate of what this would look like? Generally, and it, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I heard Candace say that generally, you don't really revise that estimate until you've gotten through the entire approval process with town meeting to go forward with the project, then you do a revised evaluation of the project before you start the process to bid isn't that what i heard carolyn well yes because you don't want to have to pay a whole bunch of design costs exactly when, when this project might not go forward as as presented so and so that was the question did i hear candace say that maybe we should ask for twenty five thousand dollars or something to do a revised estimate well, I think well we, she said she was going to come and ask, yeah, but, but now, now that we understand the process that they've already got it figured in, I guess we just wait right till after and we use our 400, you know, we can probably guesstimate a little bit, but I don't think it makes sense to spend an additional 25,000 for them to give another estimate when they're going to have to redo it again. After. That's what I think. I just wanted the reason I wanted some context there is so that everybody could understand this would be on top of um uh, the regular process to go back and revise those numbers anyway hey yeah, trevor uh, can you guys talk into your mics a little i'm having trouble hearing you absolutely I, thank um, you I, I i am i am very not supportive 
of of having to pay extra for another estimate yeah i think that i'm trying to find the square footage i don't see it i see the plans but they don't have any square footage on them so i don't have a square footage in the packet we were given either so i think that what we need to do is figure out like what what what's submitted because we can't deviate from that yep and then um you know have that we can we can I, I guess do like a little bit of a gut check with uh this number and this range um you know we we were on the application or i mean uh on, on the thing that was actually submitted um we were given a range of eight to eleven so um i know some people have talked about how like you know that number should be closer to eight it should be closer to eleven we should have been talking about eleven in the, in the beginning but that's what they submitted to us so um you know we should take a look at the square footage I like that, you know, four hundred dollar um, per square foot is like a sanity check, and then, you know, um, we can, I guess, make our decision um, from there. I, I agree. Uh, the four hundred seems to be what the going rate is right now. Yeah. When we go to town meeting, we're going to have to have a number that we vote at town meeting, and and realizing that, you know, when we when we did the highway garage. There were a couple of pieces of the highway garage. The wash bay, I think, was the first one. Several hundred thousand dollars. It went out the window because it brought the total project cost above the amount that we had voted at town meeting or we'd voted in the, uh, the election. So that kind of thing is going to happen. Um, so we need, a, we need a figure that's I don't know, rational, close, I don't know what. We're gonna need a figure, that, and that's the figure that's gonna get voted at, at town meeting, and if it passes, that's it, folks. Uh, if you need more money than that, you're, I guess you're kind of out of luck. Well, the other thing too is, you know, the requests aren't supposed to originate with this committee, you know? So we have to also kind of be asked for a figure too. Um, I, I don't mind doing a sanity check on the numbers, but, I don't want to. I don't want to vote on something without the library asking for it. So, um, you know, if they're not going to ask for something before this process is finished, we make our recommendations. Then, you know, we're going to have to do this separately. So, yeah. Great. I agree. Uh, Denise, you had your hand up. Yeah, it's my understanding. I, I thought that the library was going to be just replicate the space they currently have. So I don't know what that space is. So we can use that as a number. Plus I think 8 million is probably, um, I think that's probably hopeful. And <laughs> 11 is more pra practical. I would definitely want to check on that. If anything, I would at least split the difference to put that on the spreadsheet. But I think 8, 8 million probably isn't, isn't going to fly. Doesn't matter. They, they need yeah. to come back and update it yeah. for us. So she's offered to, to answer that to everyone. Candace has offered to come back. We need to tell her, share the information on what you all choose for your next meeting so that she has an idea of when to get back to us. So as soon as you guys pick the meeting, I can shoot her an email and let her know. And then she'll have the benefit of this, of a larger conversation with you all. I'd like yeah. her to have some hard numbers instead of hopeful numbers. It may be worthwhile for her to utilize if she has some idea of what that square footage is yeah. to do the gut check number estimate herself and bring it to you guys. Yeah. I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah. They, she could take $400, $400 per square foot and just give us a number. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Uh, so yeah, um, I guess uh, let's get started with the 2023 requests that are on the spreadsheet here. So uh, looks like the first one that we've got. Um, uh, Casey, would you mind sharing your screen just so everyone can kind of see what's what's on there in case they don't have the spreadsheet in front of them? Thank you. So uh, the first one that we have here is the restroom renovations for uh, Deerfield Elementary School. Um, I Do you want us to recommend um, each one individually, Mark, or do you want us to just go through them and then recommend them total um like uh you mean like for the for the different departments yeah yeah uh, oh you had your hand up casey i'm wondering do you want to do a recommendation do you want to do a priority or do you want to do a recommendation and go back and reprioritize in a week or so i think i'd like to do a recommendation and okay. then prioritize the things that we end up recommending all right i'll do it real time while you guys talk oh great thank you 
Um, so yeah, uh, I know for the school, some of these, uh, the school stuff, some of this could probably be lumped together, but um, yeah, for the rest for renovations, um, you know, do we have a, a motion to recommend for, uh, from anyone? I recommend that we um, support the 15,500 and this is a multi-year um, request. I think it's we the final second. year, final year of a multi-year request. Okay, all right. Sorry to cut you off there. Um, no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> do we have a second? Second. All right, so um, we will put that motion to vote. Uh, I'll just run through the list of people that are here. Uh, so uh, Skip. Yes, I. Uh, Carolyn. Yes. Denise. Yes. And I, Mark Brennan. All right. Okay, so uh, going down to the next item here, we have the uh, replacement flooring. Uh, for the school, um, do we have a uh, motion to recommend for the? I make a motion that we recommend a twenty-two thousand two hundred. This is again a multi-year, last year of a multi-year uh, plan. Second. Okay. All right. Just for clarification, I don't think this one's the last year, but just I know. Oh, isn't it? Bathroom. Okay, I thought this was the third year. I'm sorry. I know the bathrooms Karen. are, but um, but I think the flooring's still going for a while. Oh, okay. Yep. I just. I just have a question on this because I looked at last year's spreadsheet and it was estimated at 18,000 and this is saying 22.2. So have the cost, the estimate has just gone up? It has. I believe okay. so. Yeah. This okay. is the second year that we've seen an increase in both these projects. I think when they were initially submitted, they had a ballpark estimate and then each mm -hmm. year they corrected the estimate. Okay, thank you. If, if they're going to do more than just the two, the 43,000 that's sitting here, could we get the other ones spread out? I don't care if they put them all out in the mm. 25, 26, 26, at least we should know what, sure. what they are. Yeah, that's a good question. We can ask them to do that. Yep. I don't mind asking them. Actually, they sent us their capital plan. It's I don't remember if I put it in the packet, but I know Darius sent it. I thought I put it in the packet, the initial packet. They had a whole capital schedule. Oh. Um, so I can resend that. Darius sent it to me when he sent the, the four requests in. Okay. And stick it on this. Mm. All right. Um, do you still want to keep your motion then, Carolyn? Yeah, that's okay. fine. All right, and Skip, do you still second? Yes. All right, so going through the list here, Skip. Aye. Uh, Carolyn? Yes. Denise? Yes. Mark Brennan, aye. All right, so that passes. All right, the next, uh, next thing we have up here is a recommendation for the air conditioning for the skills and music room for $16,000. Uh, do we have a recommendation for that? Yes, I make that recommendation. Any okay. second? All right. So going um, through the list here, uh, Skip. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Denise. Aye. And Mark. Aye. Uh, the next uh, request that we have is for a commercial dishwasher for 30,000. Uh, 30, uh, do we have a motion to recommend on that? I make that motion. And Sorry. a second. Can you, can you tell me if the dishwasher that's there now is working or they don't have a dishwasher? I think it is working. They have been spending quite a bit in repairs just okay. from last I mean, years of being on that committee. Um, and uh, like they, it's hard to get the temperature up to where it needs to be. And it really, you know, for safety and all. Yeah. Uh, but I think and then they, and if you look out and they, they have some other expenses for upgrading the kitchen equipment and stuff in, in next year's 2024. So looking at large kind of expenditures there for gonna, looks like they're going to put much bigger, bigger dishwasher in yeah <laughs> right no exactly that shouldn't be in the full spots i think more should be in the upper one i think the biggest problem with this skip is that it's not being able to get up to temperature yeah it's a, san it's a sanitary issue with this yeah and that's actually a food code violation so it's actually pretty serious you want to try you want to try taking that out of uh reserve fund 
um, the problem is you only got like 56,000 left. That's getting down there. He needs 30. Uh, Casey, you have your hand up. Um, Skip, in relation to taking something for reserve for school, we can't transfer between reserve and the school. I, I, oh. I'm chuckling. I'm not sure why, but that's fine. No, I asked Brenda that question about the backstop. Oh. Exactly. They have their own reserve. You could go ask them, Skip. Um, well, we have a motion and a second. Yeah, we have a motion on the floor. Okay, so um, I'll just do a, a, a roll call here. So Skip. Aye. Uh, Carolyn. Aye. Uh, Denise. Aye. And Mark, aye. All right, I'll let Casey catch up. Can I, can I just ask a question? I know someone mentioned, so I see the $120,000 in the anticipated 2024, so that's in the wrong column, is that correct? I think it is in the wrong okay. column. Okay, because we've got two. We've got one above for kitchen replacement equipment. Right. Okay. So I haven't updated the rest of it. Like some of the things that I built out into the next years were already carried forward. In this case, there may be a project that I'm not that I can't see or haven't looked the upgrades to the kitchen equipment, I think exist. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably that 120 is probably a clerical error. Yeah, but they did have kitchen equipment in more than one. They had kitchen equipment somewhere. Okay. Okay. Um, just updating my own notes here. Um, all right, so the, the next thing that we have uh, on the list is, looks like the land purchase for Cumberland Farms for 125,000. Well, I would just um, bump that out to the next year, Mark, because okay. um, number one, I we would try to get a donation, but the library, that's part of the library expense because I don't, part of the deal with the library project is that they have to keep the library open open yeah and they were anticipating using the church well the senior center is going into the church but the church has never had the ability to hold books you know the weight load on that church floor is not it's not rated for that even if there were no seniors using the senior centers i mean you know using the church so the only place that i could think of for them to use would be to to do you know, buy Cumberland Farms, you know, and just use as a temporary library, and then the town would actually own it. And then we could make a pocket park and sell it or whatever. But, you know, library hasn't gotten back to me. So I don't feel like we need to be pushing this. Okay. All right. So on to the next one, then. Um, it looks like that gets us into the municipal offices. Um, so we have the building inspections, electronic archiving. Hey, Mark, before you move, what are we sure. doing with that 125,000? Anything taking it out? No, oh, we just would bump it. We would bump it to 2024. Okay. Because the library project is, it, it wouldn't get really started anyway for a whole year. So if they want to move forward with it, then fine. But nobody, nobody got back to me. So I'm not, I'm not advocating, like Mark said, it should be generated from the library. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, um, I agree. Um, all right, so yeah, the, the building inspections, electronic archiving, um, we have that, that request in. Um, I think that's been here for a little while now. It's um, been carried forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, so is this still gonna be, 35K, have those software costs gone up? The costs have gone up. We don't have an estimate. It was a carry, carry forward. In previous conversations with members of the select board, this wasn't as high a priority. Um, we really need a twofold thing. We need permitting and we need archiving, but we need permitting before we need archiving um, in terms of the functional use. So I left it on the schedule for discussion purposes um in terms of updating that i don't even know where the true estimate came from i don't have that background information well okay. part of it is you have to hire someone to actually load the previous information onto it so i 
I don't know how Dave and Trevor feel, but I'd like to bump this till next year because we don't, we're not in a position to do the permitting part anyway. Yeah, if that's part of the critical path, um, then we should probably just move it to 2024. Okay. I would. Yeah. Is that all right with Trevor and Dave? Do you want to make a motion on that, Trevor and Dave? Or you just want to just say bump it? No, that's fine. You can move it forward. Bump it. Okay, so we're just bumping it, Mark. Okay. Uh, all right, and then we have the municipal offices uh, demo slash senior center uh, for six million. So, which building are we talking about here? We're talking about, I, I guess my my, my input, I don't know, but but <laughs> neither do I. <laughs> nobody knows. But I think that the plan would. What we would like to start to move forward with a vision of remodeling the old grammar school into a town hall with an addition building on it. Um, I still think it needs to have an auditorium in it and not just a senior center. I think it needs to be our community center. I think we're shortchanging what we really need and we're going to need space um, in an indoor building so we can function our own meetings. We don't rely on anybody else. We just get it done and then however yep. big that building needs to be let's deal with that but i think the design needs to be worked on a bit and the, i don't think the auditorium should be bumped out of that i don't know really does this need to be here i mean the, the idea is that we wanted to have um we're not going to obviously spend six million dollars next year um but we need to have some sort of vision on what we're going to do going forward I, I assume this is more of a this and the next one right is also a um $10 million is just, we don't really know what we're going to do yet, but we're, we are going to start to work on a plan going forward. However, we have, a, you know, this is a want slash need, and we have other things that are permitted that we really have to get done. And so we really, at one point, we've got to lay out all these costs and lay it out for the town and say, well, where do we go? Do we need sewer, library, town hall, senior center? In what order? Is that going to go? And then can we even uh, borrow for any, that amount? I mean, we have a limit, so we've got to really figure out where we're going. Um, I don't really know what to say about putting it. I, I don't think we're going to get beyond design for this next year, even if we get funded. So I think bumping these both to um, 2024 is more realistic because, um, you know, just, just the design... Uh, I mean, first we have to hustle the money, then we have to get, go out to bid for design. And even though we're, it seems like we're going to move forward on this, I, I don't think it's going to happen this year. So I don't think it should be in this year's. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, two things. One, the numbers are reversed. Mm -hmm. It should be, the top number should be 4 million. The bottom one's 6 million. Yeah. Um, and you know we're looking at an uh, article maybe with a special town for three hundred fifty thousand for architectural on the as, as grammar school. And once we get that done, then there's application for uh, CPA funds as well. So, um, so I'm thinking that maybe we should split between 23 and 24, 2 million each for the demo and stuff. So we can get started if we can get everything, our ducks in a row. The 6 million is for that addition that would have the auditorium and everything else with it. So, and what building is that? Or is that a new building? Somewhere? That would be a new building. And a new building, I assume would have to be out back here somewhere. Yes. Behind the behind the church, behind the library. Well, the it's going to be connected. Skip. It's going to be connected to the senior center. This way. On the, it's going to be in line with the police station. The police station is not going to get ripped down. It, the current town hall is going to be ripped down. We may have to come off at an angle and kind of come this way, but I, I'm not sure how big. I mean, there's a lot of design to go. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, but, we have to figure out access and parking and all kinds of stuff. So the, let me see if I understand this, and this is 
question is mostly for understanding. The, the current thought is that the, the old school will become a town hall. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what you're saying is we need, in addition to that, we, we need a larger room for meeting space or for whatever. Yeah. And, and so in, in conjunction with that, we would fit, what we would hope to fit onto that addition would be maybe some um, extra meeting room, you know, a, an auditorium space, mm -hmm. um, space for a senior or community center, if we can fit it in that building mm -hmm. as well, addition or however that works, um, and probably some spillover offices, like maybe the third floor would be select board offices, something like that, where we would use existing space in that in that put addition. Them the put them in the basement. Yeah, we could put them in the basement. <laughs> Either one, uh, top or bottom. Um, <laughs> may want to jump out the window. Um, so, I think that would be, you know, the, the idea is to kind of get some sort of design where we could capture all of that, remodel that building, keep the historical aspects of that, and and build on with. Yeah. And, and so this space that you and We're, I are sitting in now would ultimately down. be uh, senior center or no. senior housing, something like that. I think okay. separated, completely taken down, and maybe this would be some senior housing space. Okay. Yeah, the senior housing is going here, Skip, okay. in the town hall area. Very fluid. But and, you know, we know. haven't even considered the church, and I'm not sure whether the church would be large enough to, for an auditorium. I don't know if the church is large enough to do that. I mean, we haven't even considered that. You need, so I think if you need to seat 200 people, it would be. If you need to seat 400, it's not. So and just my two cents is I just mm -hmm. think uh, going for the next 100 years, I, I just don't see that functioning as well as a meeting center that's mm -hmm. attached to all the offices and all. I just feel like we should build new for that. But people are going to be doing Zoom, Trevor. They're not even going to meet in person in 100 years. <laughs> that could be. True. I, I, be very I like Dave's idea of senior housing turning in that. That yeah. church could do assisted senior housing yeah. versus subsidized well, senior housing or something like that. At any rate, this, this yeah. probably is. Yeah. So, but I, I, I don't think we need to put this in this year's priority. Yeah, do you think we, can, we need, um, I mean, not that. I don't want to be spending any more money because we're going to be cutting somewhere. But do you think that we should have some amount of money for design initially? Yes, design? that that is what I think we should be putting in this line is a hundred thousand dollars in or something like that to just at least start a. I think a, I think we should put in four hundred thousand. It's just a round number. All right. So, uh, I I feel like this is a ten million dollar kind of project, so five percent. Seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. That's for that's for both of these. Uh, yes, this would. However, you want to divide it. I was going to say, or, we, just so that we've got numbers, can we split the two of them up and put? Do you want four million and six million, and then five percent of that for mm -hmm. design? I don't care. It would just be nice to see the two of. Yes, I think we should. I will make a motion that we put in um, for municipal offices senior center that should be uh four four million dollars maybe I don't know. that's not what it says carolyn the applications are correct those numbers are what was put through in the application mm -hmm. so if you want to flip the numbers we got to correct the application okay we can do that casey i don't think that those that was or the description is not the same it should be doing the senior town hall I would like to put in four million. I mean, four hundred thousand dollars in design work here. It was my motion for the municipal senior multi-use new building. I would like to put in um, six six hundred thousand design. Is this a select board vote, Carolyn? Are you making a motion for the select board? Well, I can make a motion for the select board. I can make a motion for CIPC. The reason I ask is you just mentioned having the library come back with an ask. If you're going to change your ask, the select board should change the ask. Okay, so then I'm making the motion then for the select board. I'm second that motion. I would just want um, to see what it looks like, and yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna go through this again. So I don't know that we, we need are. to get. Doesn't have to be exact. What uh, was the number for 
the demo. 600. Thank you. And did you want to do 5% or 10% for these? It should be 10. Okay. All right. Yeah, and average good. right now is actually 10 to 15 for engineering. Okay. I know. I, I changed my mind on that because I, <laughs> I no, no, after rethinking it, it's 5% isn't enough. 10%. I, I just wanted to make sure the math drives. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was doing, I made a motion for 10%. Okay. Do we have any idea what we think senior housing is likely to be what it would cost? Um, we're anticipating about 12 to 16 million, but that would be um, completely privately funded, you know, uh, independently funded from the town. The money that we have already appropriated would probably be enough to cover it. When you say independently funded, could you? RDI, we would go out to bid with for RDI. That's why we have a feasibility um, study skip. That's what you take to the bank. So this is not going to be... It's not going to be the town's building then. No, no. Okay. And then we're going to turn it over to the regional housing authority probably because we don't want to administer it either. Okay. I assume you know how to get that done. So I mm -hmm. Yes, we been we meet weekly on this. Fine. We're Please. following the role, we're following what uh Sunderland did. Okay. It costs the town of Sunderland about 500,000 total including the purchasing of the property so i think there's still a motion open for the select board yes so i, I seconded right yeah yes all those in favor i carolyn i trevor mcdaniel i dave wolfram i will make the same motion for cipc do we have a second i second it all right uh, so, uh, just going in the list here, going in the list here, Skip. I'm going to abstain. Carolyn. Yes. Denise. Yes. Mark Brennan, yes. And then, uh, do we have a motion for the um, municipal community senior center use, multi use building? So, are we doing that for? What did we just vote for? I thought we were oh. doing a combination of the two. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought we, yeah. All right. Then it, it okay. Yeah. Uh, my vote still stays the same, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, so, yeah, Casey, if you wouldn't mind filling um, G30 and 31, um, or I'm sorry, H30 and 31. Uh, okay. Uh, next up, we have the um, police HVAC design uh, engineering. This was for the uh, air conditioning um, for the uh, police station. Um, I will make a motion on that. Okay. Motion to recommend? Yes. Okay. All right. Do we have a second? I'll second that. All right. Uh, skip. Can we just buy a bunch of fans and give it to John? No, it keeps freezing up, Skip. <laughs> it's really, it's really annoying. We didn't have to arrest people, maybe. Um, yeah. But these are for the people that are in the cells. Well, Mark, if you behaved yourself, that wouldn't be a problem, though, would it? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're getting punchy. Yeah. We have to bring a little levity to these meetings. Come on. I know. I know. Oh. All right, so yeah, we have a motion on the floor doing a roll call, Skip. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Denise. Aye. Mark, aye. Great. All right, uh, and then, um, I don't know, uh, I, I'm kind of tempted to just skip the wastewater treatment we'll stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. Yes. Yeah. The wastewater, I think that needs to be sitting there, that needs to be separated somewhere along the way. And I think we need to be more, uh, the actual total cost of the, the entire mm -hmm. project needs to be Laid out. out there so that we're looking at it and, mm -hmm. uh, and not maybe, looking at 19 million here. And, maybe just or break whatever these it down is. into the projects that we have. So subsections would be yeah. know, phase one, phase two, phase two alternates, and then waste. Then yeah, I think that's what we have to do, Trevor. I. Oh. I'll break I, it out. We'll break. I'll get with Casey, and we'll break it out a little bit further down the road. Okay.
All right, so uh, coming up next, we've got a bunch of public work stuff. I would like to give them an opportunity to chat with us about some of these requests. Um, so I would like to skip those for now, um, yep. unless there's any objections there. Nope. nope. All right. Um, and then the next thing we have under the senior needs, uh, senior center projects section uh, is senior housing phase one feasibility study for 80,000. We're, we we just got funded. The needs assessment survey was funded through um, the FERCOG. So all we have left is this feasibility study, and what that does is it's site it's uh, a site assessment, and this is what you take to go get financing, like through USDA, you know, the, that group kind of thing. So um, I would make a recommendation to um, support this. Okay, do we have a second? Can I ask a question before that? Sure. Carolyn, is this for just one site or are you doing a feasibility study? No, you have, to do a, you, you have to do a feasibility at least two sites. So we're okay. doing the Brayburn and okay, the Minor Town Hall. Okay, I'll second that. All right, so roll call here, Skip. So this is the Senior Center Needs Assessment Feasibility. That we're voting on, or what are we? Senior housing. Yes, this is this is a feasibility for senior housing. Eighty thousand, right? Yes, this is what you we have to. This is what is the basis for us going to out to bid with like RDI Rural De Development Inc, which is a subsidy of USDA. So I'll vote aye. Uh, Carolyn. Aye. Denise. Aye. Mark, aye. All right, so that passes. Uh, the next um, item for review here is the, um, actually is this, this is different, right? This next one, the- The, the, the needs, needs assessment. assessment, yes. I, I would like to put this on hold till I um, verify, but I, I believe that Casey, we got, a, we got a notification from FERCOG that we got the grant for this, right? No. I haven't received any notification about that. And so this is, I was talking to one of my colleagues and these are really, they're back to back things. So you have the needs assessment of what senior needs are, like what do seniors want and to see in their services. And you take that and you figure out, okay, what do we need for space? Well, we still have two other towns involved. So this is a regional senior center and that, that assessment of what senior services could look like is out there. DLTA, I haven't heard anything about anything beyond that senior services assessment right now. So, because that actually wasn't one of your priorities for DLTA, if the select board will recall, senior housing well, was a priority. Right, but I, I believe, well, I don't know what I believe. I would put this on hold because I'm. it, it is confusing. It's not clear in my mind. What we actually, Jennifer Remillard would like the capital to actually keep this on their plate. This is something that we refreshed in the select board office to keep the project moving because the other two towns hadn't really started to buy into it until this year, until this fiscal year. They yeah, hadn't appropriated any money what, towards it. What is the survey that the UMass Boston is doing? UMass Boston is doing the senior services survey. What do you need to see? Like, what do seniors want to see in services? And then that becomes a question of how do we provide services in a space? So it's phases one, it, really it's a phase one, phase two. You take the information from what people want for services and you use it to determine how to provide the services in a space. That's really what it is. And John Pachurik, Chief Pachurik and I, had worked on this during budget prep for FY22. So this is a continuation of what we had started. And it plays into what we could consider doing in terms of community space. That, see, that municipal community slash senior space that we just talked about further up the schedule. This might leverage our ability to get senior. Get That's what we were hoping. Grant funding for the senior center, the actual senior. Yeah, center. because you've got three towns, it's a regional service. So we might actually have better pull. And that's what Jennifer Remillard and I had talked about. Yeah. It, 
irrespective of this conversation. Um, so this is something that I think if we want to get some help long term for senior services, if we keep this refreshed, it at least could help us leverage. Okay. All right. It is confusing because you got a bunch of different senior activities. So well, I get that. I will make a motion for tonight to support the recommending this. And then we need to get clarification on this because I am a little bit confused. Um, should we just see if we can have um, Jennifer come and chat about it for our next meeting? Would that help? Yes. Jennifer didn't spearhead this. No. Okay. Select no. board office. In fact, oh, I just said it. John oh, and I did okay. it. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Is there anyone else we can get more info from or, or um, um, do we have everything we need to vote on this now? Let me talk to John. Yeah, I'm I'm getting confused on what which studies are which. So, because we just we did receive a grant from, I mean I I saw the email from Linda Dunleavy. So, uh, all right, why don't we just table that for and and do it next time, Mark? Is that okay? That's what are you talking about? Oh no no, Lin, uh, Linda Dunleavy sent. Um, I was CC'd on it. I can I can send it to you, Casey. Linda Dunleavy spoke to Lily. Oh, that's completely separate. I know it is, but I, I don't know if there's an overlap between all the ones that we're asking to get done. I'm not sure if this estimate is accurate. That's all I wanted to say. I'm not I'm not sure. Okay. I'm confused on what is doing what now. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I guess we can skip this for now. So that brings us back to the library. You know, um, I think that if we can get, um, you know, maybe Candace in for the next meeting, um, so we can talk to, about the, you know, the library, maybe the square footage that was submitted, um, you know, with the uh, application. Um, do we have that anywhere, Candace? Like, is that something you might be able to send to all of us prior to the meeting next? Um, you know, whenever we schedule it, we haven't scheduled it yet, but what? We'll, we'll get a copy of the uh, application that was um, sent to uh, what was it, the MBLC. I don't know. I would have to, Candace would have to tell us because I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I would like to, you know, um, maybe see what the, what the square footage was and then, you know, also see if we can get a, uh, a final request from uh, the library for what they want to see for FY 2023. It's, we, I, I, I don't recall having a specific number yet. You know, I, I know that we've kind of talked around it a bunch, but, you know, I would like to like have a number to vote on um, eventually. So see if we can get that. Yeah. Hey, Mark, it's not just, it's not just the addition, but it's also what they're doing in the existing building. So, you know, yeah. although we can use the 400, per square foot for the new addition, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on the old. Oh, that's a good point. On the originals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a really good point, Denise. Um, yeah. The other thing I'd like just to bring up, Mark, is that um, the select board probably wants to withdraw the elementary school backstop repairs because I wanna make sure they get done before this season, this you know spring season. Okay. So we can eliminate that 15,000. It's gotta be paid for uh, as an emergency, whatever. I don't know. It just needs to get done. Mm -hmm. Mark, I don't wanna just... wait till July 1st to get that done. Mark, can I just get clarification on that? So are you going to, is someone going to ask Candace to gather that information before she comes? So we don't have to ask her for that information when she comes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll ask her for that. Oh, great, um, thank you. Broad side. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to chat about was the capital stabilization fund. Um, we don't have a number for FY 2023. Do we want to put anything in there right now for that? I know it's going to be a tight year, but I don't know. It seems like the kind of thing that we should try and add to. I I would like to put at least a hundred thousand in, just tentatively. Yeah. Because um, 
I mean, it's going to be a tight year. There's no way we can get 250. But right. We might be able to squeeze something. I have a question about that too. So on my spreadsheet from last year, it said when we last spoke, currently we had $834,000 in that. Is that correct? No. We spent some of it last year. We used it as an appropriation for sidewalks. Okay. I guess all the more reason then. Um, so uh, do we have a, I guess, a recommendation for, for an amount there, or do we want to put that in as a placeholder and then see what happens with our other stuff? Um, well, next what week? was our goal for that? Well, we were trying to have a goal of 250 a year. 250 a year. Yeah. Until we reach it. Wasn't there a certain amount that we wanted we to were a million? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So do we know what the current, what the current, what, what it is currently? Um, approximately. No, I can't okay. remember. It's somewhere in the back of my head. I just can't remember. Okay. We took $150,000 out of it at annual. Um, wait a second. I might have it in just, here. Let's uh, just understand that it's like 680, something like that. Probably. Okay. Um, let me see, our funds balance. I was just looking at uh, the funds balance here, list here. Stabilization, nope, that's our other stabilization. Capital stabilization is $718,926. Okay. So seven, I don't know, it's almost 719. Thousand. That's pretty good. We took out one hundred forty-eight thousand one hundred fifty-two dollars. Okay. So we're we're doing. I mean, we're considering that the, we haven't had. I mean, this our years have been bad years. The last couple of years have been bad. Yeah. So yeah. you know, I'm I'm thinking that we're doing pretty good. I, I, this year could be bad too. So I don't know. We just need to get beyond COVID. This is, we, you know, these COVID expenses are, you know, the, the reimbursements are not that good. Okay. Well, yeah, that's the, that's the list. Um, we've got, uh, you know, um, I guess a little bit of a uh, little homework uh, for, for me to do anyways. Um, so, uh, what I'd like to do next is just try and find some time uh, next week to meet um, and uh, start uh, kind of ranking some of these and, and hopefully also get some um, input from, you know, public works, uh, the library. And then for this senior needs assessment, I guess, you know, who do we want to get more info from before we can make a recommendation there? Well, I'll, I'll I'll get that. We need to talk to you. We need to catch up with UMass Boston where they're tabulating and stuff. And I don't have, I don't always make that, have that conversation. So let me talk to Chief Pachurik. Okay. Right. Yeah. If we don't have it in time for our next meeting, you know, we can, we can just kind of hold off on that until our, our final meeting. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess whatever we can do um, before the next one. Um, and, Mark, and Mark, I will talk with the select board on the, um, and we have a, MVP meeting tomorrow and and then our select board meeting tomorrow so we could probably um modify that million dollar match for the wastewater treatment plant too okay. you know, that's in the public works section it doesn't sound like we're going to be able to fund it unless we can finagle something different so we can put, we'll be able to pull that by next week or have a, a more definitive match. It might not be very much required. Okay. Um, Denise, did you have your hand up? Um, not that I remember. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Great. All right. So I guess what's everyone's availability for next week? Um, I can do pretty much any any day next week. Well, you know, Wednesday, there's no selectmen's meeting on Wednesday, so we could do Wednesday again. Okay. Or um, or after uh, finance on Tuesday, but I would rather do Wednesday. Sure. It's hard, it's hard to have back-to-back -back meetings. All right. 
Um, and I could probably get started a little bit earlier. Um, you know, do we want to try for Wednesday at six? Yes. Yeah, that sounds fine. Skip, is that going to work for you? Is that all right? I think so. Yeah. All right. What day right. is that? Eight? It's, it's March 2nd. Second. Yep. Wednesday at six? Wednesday at six. Okay. Ooh. Let me, I'll see what's on the, I'll let you know if there's a conflict. All right. Before you guys um, go, oh, I'm sorry. Can I just ask a question, Mark? Sure. Oh, yeah. The select board while you're all here. So I know that um, there's a meeting next week with Natalie and Joe. Are mm -hmm. you guys going to talk about that at the select board meeting tomorrow night about the process? No. Just how I, the meeting's going to go? Just curious. Probably not. We 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 got to prepare. Uh, yeah. But I'm. Uh, our agendas are pretty full so okay well i'm just wondering you know how we're going to proceed and what the ask is i mean i know that we've already john had already sent them chief had already sent you know a sort list. of reiterated yeah. what you said carolyn and i had sent the postcard so just wondering you know how oh, we're gonna have to figure that out denise okay well i don't know i'm just just looking ahead carolyn I know, I know. It's, I know. <laughs> I'm operating crisis mode one day at a time. <laughs> All right. No, we'll talk if there's about any way I can help, let me know. Yeah. No, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Sorry. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Fine. Uh, yeah. Do we have any any other business to discuss? No, we'll try to we'll just try to shape up some of this, like the Leary lot and stuff like that okay. for next week. Okay. All right, sounds good. Well, um, do we have a uh, some motion to adjourn for the capital? I make that meeting? motion. All right, we can second. <laughs> Denise is seconding it. Okay, so uh, let's see, Skip. Skip, just vote yes. This has been 12 opposed. hours on my butt. I'm done. No one's opposed. Let's go. You can outvote me. Come on. <laughs> He's packing up, so I'd say that's a yes. Yes. Uh, I guess, okay. And Carolyn? Yes. <laughs> yes, Mark, yes. All right, great. Okay. We have to adjourn the select board select meeting. Board. Make a motion to adjourn the select board. <laughs> I'll second it. Uh, yeah, most, yes, I, Trevor McDaniel. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Dave. <laughs> oh, well, well, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much.